Good evening, all. Council, gallery, members of the media, welcome. I'll now call the uh, Tuesday, April 23rd, 2024, public hearing to order. Uh, first up on the agenda is adoption of the agenda for this public hearing, moved by Councilor Blanchette, second by Councilor Pearson. Any errors or any uh, additions, deletions shouldn't be, it's a public hearing. All in favor, it's, car it's carried. 3.1, I do have a public hearing statement for this, uh, for tonight's proceedings. So this public hearing dated April 23rd, 2024, held in the village of Belmont Council Chambers at 735 Cranberry Lake Road in Belmont, BC, is being convened pursuant to the terms of the Local Government Act prior to consideration of one item, street vendor permit 0324 application for alternative location. At a public hearing, any person present who believes they are affected by a matter being considered shall be given an opportunity to be heard on the matter contained in the proposal. Members of the public speaking to the proposal should, at the appropriate time, commence your address to this council by stating your name and area of residence. We do not need your specific address. At which time you can then give us the benefit of your views concerning the proposal. Everyone who deems their interests are affected shall be given the opportunity to be heard at this meeting. No one will be or should feel discouraged or prevented from making their views known. All who submit comments at this public hearing will restrict their remarks to the matters contained in the proposal and it is my responsibility as chairperson of this meeting to ensure that all remarks are so restricted. At the conclusion of a public hearing, Council may, without further notice, give whatever effect Council believes further to the representation made at the hearing. Uh, item 4.1 for street uh, vendor permit 0324, we do have a presentation by staff. Good evening, Ms. Eddie. Good evening. Uh, so tonight's public hearing is in regards to one application for a street vendor permit, uh, requesting the Funky Goat to continue to operate in an alternate location per other than what's permitted in the street vendor permit 713-2014. The applicant is requesting to operate at 1175th Avenue, legally described as Lot 2, District Lots 9778, Caribou District Plan, PGP, 35390. The alternate location would be approved for a period of three years. Uh, the Funky Goat has been operating in this location since 2017, and all required documentation, such as their Northern Health approval and proof of insurance, will be required prior to issuing the final permit. Uh, at the regular council meeting of March 26, council gave initial approval for the proposed alternate location. Uh, since then, adjacent property owners have been notified and residents have been invited to provide feedback at tonight's public hearing. Thank you very much. And under item 4.2, are there any written submissions received prior to these proceedings? Yes, as of noon today, we received one written submission, um, and that was from Diane Anderlini. Um, hi, my name is Diane Anderlini. I live at 41 Cedar Street, which is behind the Funky Goat. My husband Craig and I are totally in favor of this. I think it would be a wonderful for them to be running as well as it gives people another place to eat. It is just a cool place to go. I hope this goes through. This is mine and my husband's vote as an absolutely yes. Thanks, Craig and Diane Anderlini. Thank you very much. Under item 4.3, are there any comments from the public? For a second call under item 4.3, are there any comments from the public? And for a third and final time under 4.3, are there any comments from the public? Then at, uh, for item 4.4, uh, is the proponent present to provide any comments? Under 4.5, are there any questions by council? I will now adjourn this public hearing under item five. Thank you. And uh, I now call to order the Tuesday, April 23rd, 2024, regular meeting of council to order. Adoption of the agenda under 2.1 as amended, please council to include item 7.14. So looking to adopt as amended, moved by council Blanchette, second by council Pearson. Are there any further additions? or deletions. All in favor? It's carried. Uh, we under 4.1. We have minutes to adopt. 
Under 4.1, we do have a delegation this evening uh, from the Bell Mountain Area Recreation Development Association uh, regarding their uh, recent property acquisition. Uh, if I can have Curtis Polyuk come to the podium. Welcome. Thanks, guys. Mayor, Councillor. Uh, with respect to the fact that it's almost my bedtime and <laughs> we don't have too much to say, it'll be pretty informal, but we just wanted to, on behalf of the Board of Directors of VARTA, um, just formally inform Council of our purchase of 1340 Main Street. We call it the Swift Creek property, um, something very special to the community at large, we believe. Um, also an asset to the village itself. So we look at this as a purchase for the entire community as a whole. Um, and we know there's going to likely in the future be some works that the village will need, um, some things that we might need. And we just like to open up conversation and communication on the property and know that we're here to help and we're here to cooperate. Um, we understand its importance to not just the recreation community, but also to our watershed. Um, so we're looking forward to speaking with the village on further issues in the future. Right on. Thank you. Anything further? That was it. Motion to receive. Moved by Councillor Mulk, second by Councillor McLean. Questions to the delegation? It's the shortest I've ever heard you talk. Right? <laughs> it's pretty, I thought I'd be pretty easy on you guys today. Yeah. You were worried, eh? Uh, on behalf of Council and the Village, uh, congratulations on the purchase. Uh, very forward thinking uh, when that opportunity came along. So uh, our gratitude to the Board of Directors and to yourself. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was quite the step. Um, huge thank you to the Columbia Basin Trust, of course. And then also Varda pulled a significant chunk of our little coffers out and uh, it's now 100% locally owned, which is pretty exciting. Yeah, yeah. really exciting. And uh, we look forward to further correspondence. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank I appreciate you very much. much. Anything else, Holly? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, discussion on the delegation. All in favor of receipt? It's carried. Uh, reading file. Anything folks would like to bring to surface before I bring uh, 7.1 forward to surface? Councillor uh, Blunt. Pearson. <laughs> I'm sure who you're looking at there, Uh 7.13. Um, letter from uh, Mr. Belkany and Code Five. Uh, just uh, a thank you for the additional info. Uh, gives us a little more to work with, and uh, looking forward to see what we can do down the road towards grant applications and stuff. So, yeah, it's good to have a bit more of a solid uh, dollar figure. There. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Right. Any follow up? Any nope. follow up? No. Nope. Other members of council. Uh, I'd like to pull 7.14, uh, the correspondence from the regional district, uh, looking to engage with the village around their regional agricultural strategy. Uh, kind of put the offer back to them to meet with us for a committee of the whole uh, in uh, later in the spring. Um, if there's nothing else, we'll head off to administration reports. Uh, 8.1, uh, overview of provincial housing legislation. Any discussion on that? Great report. Uh, 8.2, uh, council remuneration review panel. Looking to approve a review of council remuneration to be conducted in 2025 using the process recommended in the Union of BC Municipalities Council and Board Remuneration Guide. Moved by Councillor Pearson, second by Councillor McLean. Discussion? No more giving yourselves a raise without public consent. Further discussion? All in favor of receipt? Or uh, all in favor of approval? It's carried. Uh, we've got a donation request under 8.3 from the Belmont Bear Clubs, Bear Cubs, sorry, uh, looking to approve a grant in the amount of $368 to the Belmont Bear Cubs soccer organization for the purpose of covering costs for insurance and rental of the Belmont Secondary School field. Moved by Council Blanchett, second by Councillor Mullock. Discussion. Are you coaching again this year, Councillor? No. No. Staying clear there. Okay. All in favor? Oh. Um, 
Um, I just have a question about the insurance. Um, we're talking about a field, right? Yes. On school property. Yes. So would that not be under the school umbrella already for insurance, or where are they having to buy separate? They have to buy separate because of our community use agreement. And so they go through our insurance provider rather than the, because it's after hours. Okay. Further discussion? All in favor? It's carried. Uh, looking to 8.4 for development variants, uh, 2401, uh, 202 Ash Street, uh, that we give uh, initial approval be given to the proposed development variants permit 2401 to vary subdivision and development servicing bylaw. For subdivision application 2301 for 202 Ash Street, legally described as the northwest quarter of district lot. 7355 Caribou District Plans, except plans B5959, H343, 8811, 9688911201113381460617326186792225323527265572797630 Three two two three three nine eight eight PGP four eight zero nine one and EPP one zero three four four five to vary uh, section two point two point one of Schedule A to waive the requirement of the proponent to pave a designated portion of Dogwood Street. D did I miss a letter <laughs> number? Uh, moved by Councillor Mullick, seconded by Councillor Pearson. Uh, discussion on waiving. All in favor? Any question? Or um, call? It's, it's it's more a comment. I mean, um, it's unfortunate. I mean, looking at what would be required to be paved under this agreement um, is rather prohibitive. And but my, it would be nice to have some asphalt on dogwood. <laughs> That's we'll get all. There. That's all. Thank you. Uh, the, with that comment, you know, seeing the dust in the air today, just thinking anything we can do to minimize things that we have control on would definitely be a good thing, but not in this case. We do get some land out of the deal. <laughs> Sandy Acres, we can call it. <laughs> All in favor? It's carried. And to... Uh, that recommendation too regarding the proponent's request to waive the provisions of the uh, Village of Elmont policy of number 42 be adopted as written in the staff report. Moved by Councillor Pearson, second by Councillor Blanchett. Discussion on that waive. All in favor? It's carried. 8.5 street vendor permit alternative location application for 1170 Fifth Avenue from the public hearing we just had. Uh, looking for approval to be given to the Funky Goat to operate as a street vendor at 1170 Fifth Avenue, legally described as Lot 2 DL 9778 Caribou District Plan PGP 35390 for three years. Moved by Councillor Blanchett, second by Councillor Mullick. Discussion. Best of luck to the Funky Goat. Congratulations. All in favor? It's carried. Uh, section 9, bylaws and policies, uh, five-year financial plan bylaw, number 899-2024, uh, uh, be given third reading. Moved by Councillor Mullick, seconded by Councillor Pearson. Discussion on third. All in favour? It's carried. Uh, 9.2, tax rate bylaw, number 890-2024, be given first, second, and third. Reading, moved by Councillor Pearson, second by Councillor McLean. Discussion on first, second, and third. All in favor? It's carried. 9.3, Council Procedure Amendment Bylaw number 891-2024. Uh, that Council Procedure Bylaw number 834-2020, Amendment Bylaw number 891-2024, proposing a change to the definition of public notice posting places and to uh, section 17, order of proceeding, proceedings and business uh, be adopted as presented. 
Moved by Councillor Mullock, second by Councillor McLean. Discussion on final? All in favor? It's carried. Uh, 9.4, building bylaw number 892, looking for final adoption. Moved by Councillor Pearson, second by Councillor Mullock. Discussion on final? All in favor? It's carried. 9.5, uh, bylaw notice enforcement and dispute adjudication. Uh, bylaw number 698, 2013, amendment bylaw number 893, 2024, it be given. Adopted as presented, moved by Councillor Blanchette, second by Councillor McLean. Discussion on final. All in favor? It's carried. 9.6, fees and charges amendment bylaw. Uh, number uh, 869, 2023, amendment bylaw number 894, 2024, be adopted as presented. Moved by Councillor McLean, second by Councillor Blanchette. Discussion on final. All in favor? It's carried. And 9.7, uh, public notice bylaw number 895, 2024, looking for first and second this evening. Moved by Councillor Blanchett, second by Councillor Mullock. Discussion on first and second. All in favor? It's carried. Not seeing any new business identified. Is there a notice of motion to be brought forward? Then we're heading off to 12.1 and council reports. Um, Councillor McLean. I did not have anything to report this time. Very cool. Council Blanchett. Ditto. <laughs> Councillor Pearson, you want to break that streak? Uh, I've got a couple things. Uh, April 10th, we had the uh, traffic committee meeting. Uh, some very good discussions. Uh, we'll see where, where things go. And April 16th, uh, community forest, Belmont Community Forest and the Belmont Industrial Park meetings both. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Mullock. On April 20th, I attended the community cleanup and geocache event at George Hicks Park in the immediate area, including the visitor center and uh, this whole area. Uh, about a dozen people uh, helped out in the cleanup. Um, lots of stuff to pick up mm -hmm. and what a stellar day to do it. So it worked out really, really well. Um, and I understand there was other events going on. Varda had uh, had one up on the bike park as well. Uh, on April 23rd, I today I attended a tourism meeting, and I just have to say there's lots of lots of items on the front burner. You know, so there's uh, um, Belmont Tourism is participating or leading a lot of uh, a lot of things that are going to happen this summer and this fall. So look forward to them being posted. And also, I just want to give a plug. I know that uh, Mayor Torgerson did last week, but I'll do it again. On that May 19th, uh, that the uh, George Hicks Park, the annual release of the Chinook Salmon and the mm -hmm. Swift Current. And, you know, honestly, if, if, if you've done it before, you'll want to do it again. If you have never done it, then you've got to do it, because you could do it a million times watching those little fish going. So I highly recommend to anyone that's available to to go in and participate in this. It's, uh, it's a good time. And that's running uh, from 12 till, or sorry, noon till two on May 19th. That's it for me. Thank you. Uh, April 14th, had a resort communities collaborative advocacy working group meeting. Uh, continuing on the 11th, I had a touch base meeting with uh, CBT Chair Carver and CEO Strelayev. And then ended the day with a uh, geothermal project update with the Federal Minister uh, Wilkinson's office. Uh, nine, on the 14th, I was glued to computers uh, looking at the election for the simp chief. I want to send my gratitude to Larry Lampro and Shelley Loring for putting their names forward and, and my hearty congratulations to incumbent candidate George Lampro on his re-election. Uh, the election for SIMP councillor is on May the 12th. Uh, I had a meeting on April 15th with Minister Katrina Conroy, uh, again with Chair Carver and CEO Strelayev. On the 15th, I had, uh, it was pretty cool, um, SIMP Resources Group CEO Paul Donald was in town for a final uh, weld of the reactivation project. 
Uh, so was able to uh, tour him around both the village and industrial park for any future investment sort of ideas from their group. Uh, the 18th, I was in Prince George for regional district, uh, first um, environment and parks committee, uh, the regional hospital board, uh, open board session, and a closed board session. And then uh, the 20th, joined a lot of other volunteers for the CETO event at George Hicks Park for uh, cleanup. Um, I found McDonald's packaging. Uh, and I think the closest one is two and a half hours away ish so and an eerie amount of discarded cigarette butts along in high dry grasses <laughs> and then uh, my week was filled full of administrators first with our weekly check-in with our CAO and then today uh, had an introduction meeting with the Northern Health Authority Belmont Health Center administrator Vicky Rensby uh, Wonderful, wonderful addition to the organization, and we look forward to uh, doing a lot of cool things with her. Uh, that's my report. Uh, motion to receive. Moved by Councillor Pearson, second by Councillor Blanchette. Any discussion on receipt? Councillor Pearson. Uh, just further to uh, both your and Councillor Millick's uh, report on the uh, the cleanup. Uh, kudos to both schools being out on Earth Day in the community. Uh, I saw them on several streets in in mass with garbage bags doing a cleanup in in the community. So kudos to them. Thank you for raising that. I'll send a thank you letter to the uh, administration. Further discussion. All in favor. It's carried. Uh, the under 13.1, the calendar of events for April and May are there for information. So moving on to 14.1, uh, here to receive public comments on items considered by council as part of the approved agenda. Are there any public comments this evening? Just uh, one second, uh, I'll just got a little preamble here now that we have public <coughs> comments or people. Uh, the following conditions apply to public comments. Uh, they should, uh, they can only be on uh, regarding an item on the current agenda. Uh, they must be on topics that are normally, uh, that are not normally dealt with by Villa staff as a matter of routine. Uh, questions and comments will be addressed through myself. Uh, debates with or by individual members of council or staff are not allowed during this time. Uh, no commitments shall be made in replying to a question. Uh, matters that may require action uh, shall be tabled to a future meeting of this council. Uh, bylaws and temporary use permits, etc., that have been considered at a public hearing but have not yet received final approval shall not be raised during this time. And uh, you have two minutes. Okay, my question or comment is regarding the development permit on Ash. I live on the corner of 9th and dogwood there yep. so and you, you are you guys the way I read it here are you guys waiving the pavement requirement did you want to take that yes we are you are waiving that yeah and in, in, in exchange for land uh, that would be designated 13th Avenue so when is uh, dogwood gonna get paved unknown at this point unknown like it's so uh, they're, are they getting a break on that? But do you remember when Fowler put his subdivision in? That had to be all in. So his pavement is in the price of his lots. So why can't this guy be doing that? I, I don't know the business model of what well, we're she's getting, trying to do. We're getting that ripped off everybody that's on that whole strip down there. It's been for years like that. And that ro road is not properly maintained to begin with. After that... The uh, lift station went in there last year. It was just terrible down there all winter because they never lifted it up with gravel or nothing. They didn't do nothing there. Yeah, I, I live right there too. I know. So I'm just saying that I, hopefully you guys aren't letting them off the hook here. And it sounds like maybe you are. Well, I think the, the, the land exchange is worth what we would see in, in a pavement benefit. 
So how many acres, how, many, how big is that piece there? Uh, 10 meters by, I don't know the lineal feet, but it's a lot. But how many acres is that whole chunk that he's gonna develop? I'd have to go back to the report, Junior. Yeah. I'm not happy about it, and I bet you that whole strip down there is not happy about it. You, I mean, how many times has Helen been in here? Uh, none. Well, I find that hard to believe. She hasn't been in this room. Oh, maybe not in this room, but she's been in the office, guaranteed. Thank you for your comment. Yeah. Are there further public comments this evening? Hey, motion to receive public comment. Actually, we don't receive them anymore, do we? Yeah. No, we don't. So, council will now give notice to proceed to an in-camera meeting under 15.1 for consideration of one item per section 91D of the community charter to discuss matters related to D, the security of property of the municipality. Moved by Councillor Mullock, seconded by Councillor Pearson. All in favor? It's carried. <laughs> 